This transformation is short and sweet, but it's one of my favorites. I absolutely love this top. And when I saw it at the thrift store, I knew exactly what I wanted to do with it. Because the trim on the collar really inspired me to just run with that idea, you know, that embellishment. And I decided to add some colors in there. I wanted to add some beads, pom-poms. I love pom-poms. You can expect to see a lot of them on this channel. Probably a lot of tassels, probably a lot of goofy things on my clothes. So if you're into that, you are in the right place. I love it and I hope you guys do too. Enjoy! Here's the tank I found at the thrift store. Pretty boring other than this sweet neckline. I'd say it definitely needs something. First I'm going to shorten it just by folding it under, then marking it to the length that I want. I'm trimming that with some room to hem, then cutting these side slits deeper and making sure they're the same length on each side. Looks good! Now I'm going to simply double fold each side of the slits to hem, then do the same to the bottom edges. turning out to look like this. The pom-poms! I found these beauties at my favorite discount fabric store, also known as Heaven. I measured two strips out for the sleeves. And then I decided I didn't like these little white fringe parts, so I trimmed them off, leaving me with this. I marked where I wanted these to be sewn on myself and sewed them on the inside of the sleeves just so the pom-poms would show. Turning out to look like this. I also added three little tiny stitches since the trim was so wide, keeping it flat and in place on the inside. I decided to sew the palms on the bottom of the top as well, with the trim on the outside instead of the inside. Because, come on! How cute is it? Now to make my tassels. I'm using single pom-poms from the trim for this and the method that worked best for me was coating the top ends that I'll need to trim off in clear epoxy and letting that harden completely so when I do cut it, no ends will ever ever fray. So I'm coating the top here, leaving a loop I can pull my string through after it dries and coating the ends of my string because no fraying definitely wins. After they were completely dry, I carefully cut it out, leaving just the loop and the connected palm, which I could then thread that string through, fold up and hand stitch to secure. Lastly, I'll take the other ends of these tassels and secure it to the top, stitching back and forth, hiding the ends underneath that collar. And let me tell you, I think it turned out alright! I'm only... watching again I really appreciate every single one of you I hope you enjoyed it maybe learned something new thanks again and I'll see you next time bye